This extension was designed to immediately display results generated by any field formula or syntax. For example, let's go ahead and start a new contact. That's where our demo formulas are set up. And right away, scroll down to the calculation block and start inputting the data. So I put 100, and I can see that the total is automatically calculated based on the formula that we set up. Put in 200, 3, and 4, and it keeps adding as soon as I put in anything in each payment. I can add additional expenses, deductions, which will deduct from the total, additional fees, going to be addition as well, and then we can do the rate and multiply it by a certain rate. And this is just an example of how the formulas work as soon as you type in any value. And we have a help text that shows exactly how this formula works. And in just a few seconds, we'll take a look how this is actually set up in the back end. Next, what I'd like to show you is calculation between the dates. So in this case, let's select January 1st and the second date, let's say January 31st. And what this does is it calculates the difference between day one and day two, that's 30 days. And this is the difference between today and 31st, which is 28 days. And again, you can create custom rules to calculate dates. You can add dates to additional date field and so on. So it's very flexible. Next, let's take a look at our full name example. For example, as I start typing in contacts name, you can see that it automatically populates under the full name. And as I complete my name, I have a full name populated in this field. It automatically concatenates all the values that I configured in the backend. Next, another example, we have how we can trigger one pick list to be set based on another pick list. So for example, lead source is now blank, but if I select from pick list one and say set it to cold call, it will then set the lead source to cold call. Again, if I do it to a partner, it will change that as well. So again, it's very flexible how you can configure those workflows. Next, we can trigger checkbox to be filled out if we select any different value in the pick list or any other field. So say if I do check this box, it automatically does it. And again, that just shows you how flexible this extension is. Um, lastly, we have another text concatenation example. So for example, as I start typing in the address, you can see that the combined mailing address gets automatically populated based on what I input in the mailing street fields. Same applies to other street. So all of these can be configured in the workflows area to concatenate as well as add, subtract, multiply the fields. So let's go ahead and take a look at that configuration. So under settings, CRM settings, automation, workflows, and that's where we have all of our workflows. So let's take a look at the mathematical example first, so calculation block. So we have the workflow name, that's very straightforward. And then under conditions, we're basically saying that anytime any of these fields are greater than or equal to zero, we want the calculation to trigger. And down below under workflow actions, we have our action, which is field formulas. And since we already have one, let's take a look at this one. So it's as simple as naming the action. We check this execute on demand, which means the calculation will be executed as soon as uh, the user puts in any value. And then we have our total field. That's where we want it to be totaled. Next, we have the value. So what you'll do is you will select the expression, and then you simply do field one plus field two minus deductions multiplied by rate and so on. So it's very simple how you can create those formulas that will be automatically calculated on the screen. Next, let's take a look at another example 
that we have for text concatenation. So I'll just hit cancel. And then, for example, let's take a look at our mailing address example. Combined mailing address. So again, it's just a name, it's for context module. And then again, the condition is as long as those fields are not empty, they should be not empty, then we'll calculate, then we'll concatenate the combined mailing address. And then in this case, I'll just do a quick example with creating a new one. So field formula, that's our test. And so we want to concatenate to combined mailing address. Click here, it gives you an option set of values. So then from raw text, you select expression. And from custom function, you use concat, because that's the function that we're using to combine multiple fields into one area. So the next thing you would do, so A and B are just an example. You would select mailing street. Then we'll just copy it and replace it with A. And then we'll do mailing city. We'll do the same again. Paste it. And then we'll add another comma. And then we'll add, say, mailing state. And that's how you would create your concatenated text. And you can always look at our demo instance and see how we configured ours. And that'll give you some ideas how this can potentially be useful. And that's it for this demo.